Sarah has been told to go to the foyer of an upmarket business hotel. And right on cue, here's someone to give her the hustle briefing. Hi. Hello. You ready to uh, get your scam on? I think so. You want to know a little bit about it? Yes, I'd love to. So you know that uh, sometimes we sell people things that aren't real. That's an easy scam. But some people are wise to that, so what we do is we sell them something that's absolutely genuine, worth a great deal of money, but we sell it to them for a much cheaper price. Okay. But how do you get away with the money and the goods? No idea. Is that impossible? We're going to find out. Exciting. Why don't you meet the gang? Perfect. See what happens. Let's go. We'll go that way. Sarah's going to have to hold her nerve in the choke. This hotel is right next to Heathrow Airport and is full of people having business meetings and preparing to fly off to foreign shores. Both are likely to be carrying sums of money on them, making them very attractive to hustlers. This lady takes a seat near the hotel bar, unaware she's about to become today's mark. She barely has time to settle in with her friend before some more hotel guests make their entrance. It's Alex and Sarah, posing as business travellers. But their luggage is a little unusual. Judging by the metal briefcase strapped to Alex's wrist, he's carrying more than his passport and something to read for the trip. As they carry their drinks towards some empty seating, it's down to Sarah to cause a bit of a scene. Oh! 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Ah. Sorry. Oh, I oh. spill everything. Sorry, sorry. She sorry. spilled their sparkling water all over the sofa. Oh, thank you. Where will they sit now? <laughs> the little accident was an excuse for them to be able to sit right next to the Mark and her friend. Excuse me. Sorry, do you maybe just sit here while he cleans up my mess? Sorry. Managed to throw everything on the floor. Sorry. All over my boots. Just need to check. Alex is making sure the ladies notice the briefcase and the handcuff. I'll never be too sure of this. Not Why do I look like a criminal? <laughs> Don't say that. Criminal? <laughs> As if. Uh, this, is, uh, this is me. I, I do. Um, we sell watches. Um, so you have Tag Heuer. They're beautiful. They are beautiful. Oh, you like them? Gorgeous watches. This is the most um, popular model at the moment. And we're selling quite a lot of these. That's like my favourite one. That's your favourite one. Now that. This is a, a Breitling. Alex lets the mark take a closer look at the goods. They are very popular, Isn't though, it? those at the moment. But it's, it's one of our... Well, you can have it as a, demand for those. as a necklace. They're certainly nice watches. That's because they're worth a lot of money. So that's 2,145. But that's, um, that's not cost price. That's retail. That's retail. Close that before people get... Get some interesting ideas. There we go. And the paraphernalia. It looks a little, it <laughs> looks a little bit, bit dramatic, scary, doesn't, doesn't it? it? Yeah. They all seem to be getting on very well. Time for Jess to cause a bit of an interruption. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Oh, Mr. Hello, um, I've just a message for you. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Marx has missed his flight from Paris and he won't be able to get here, I'm afraid. Okay, I'll oh, thank you. Sorry, thank sorry you. about that. That's not good. Um, I'm sorry, flight. Six. He's missed it completely. He's missed it completely. Sounds like an important business meeting has been cancelled, and Alex doesn't look too happy about it. What are we going to do well, with him? We... we can't take him with us. We'll have to pay import duty on these. The cancelled meeting clearly had something to do with all those watches. What time? Have what we got there? enough time to go into town? No. No. Not at all. Pushing it anyway. No. I'm just going to have to try and find somebody to approach. Couldn't interest you in a watch. <laughs> Doesn't look like no. it. He explains his predicament. No. We've got a bit of a strange situation because basically we have a dealer who is going to come here and uh, buy these. They've, he's agreed to pay four grand for them, but he's not coming. Oh, yes. um, we're going to Los Angeles at uh, what time? Six o'clock. Six, yeah. And I can't take these with me because the price of import duty to Los Angeles would just be phenomenal. So I just want to get rid of them for cost price. Cost price for me is £1,500. 
The whole thing retail would give you about 5,000, 500, 5,000. Maybe 6,000? 6,000, I'd say, yeah. If you're interested at all, we could do a deal. You could take the watches and sell them and make a big profit. So he's offering the mark three luxury watches for the wholesale price of just £1,500. Where would we sell those? To sell on, yeah. Uh, things, for things like this, you could go to any jeweller. Yeah, we'd have to. So you know We've what not got an option, have we? Yeah, if you want to do that. You know. Yeah. Do you want me to tell you which ones you have? The Mark wants to know exactly how much the timepieces are worth. The tag is called the Tag Carrera, if you wanted to look that up. Uh, that should be about 2,100 on retail. She looks the watches up online. Sure enough, they seem to check out. But even that amazing bargain on offer isn't good enough for this lady. I'd do a grand. It would have to be 1,500, because then I, I would feel fair. She's playing hardball. That's the bargain of the century. Whereas 1500. You are like bargains. Yeah, well, the I like. 1500 is the bargain of a century. I, I like them too, but that's 1500 is a bargain yeah, of the century. Yeah, that's 1100. Oh, my good lord. <laughs> do you have it, Cash? Cash? Yeah, okay, you, do you have to go and get it, or do you have it here? Fine. Deal done then. Alex decides to let her have them for the knockdown price of 1100 pounds. This must really be her lucky day. And there's the cash. The Mark hands over £1,100 to two people she's only just met. But here's the thing. Those watches really are worth £6,000 in the shops. Who's hustling who here? All that's left is to hand over the watches. But here comes Jess to throw a spanner in the works. Mr Steele. Sorry, there's been a bit of confusion at the other end. Mr. Marks jumped on another flight. He's going to be in about five minutes. Really sorry. What? He jumped on another flight. He'll be here in about five minutes. It was, there's, been some was... there's been some confusion at the other end. His PA is just called now. He did jump on a flight and he's on his way now. And he said he'll meet you up in your usual suite. So the business meeting is back on. Mr. Marks, the original buyer, will be here shortly. And he'll want those watches. Alex pays for all their drinks, but unfortunately for the Mark, the amazing deal is off. Right, well, I think you might have your money back. Oh, you can't, no, you can't do I that. This just... Sarah's job is to side with the Mark and make Alex keep his word. You can't do that. Yeah, but this gentleman's going to pay me £4,000 for these watches. Oh, these late. Send him my way. He's not going to deal with you, because <laughs> he's my client. But I will do the deal with him, and you get your profit. No, you can't do that. Okay. Wanting to do the right thing, Alex offers to sell the watches to Mr Marks for her and let her have the profits. No, take money back for the watches, will you? You don't want to have, you don't want to make any money. She wants out altogether. Because you could just go for the money. No, no, you, you stay with me. Yeah, you come with me. You come with no, us. No, 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 I'm not going to run no. off. Yeah. He's coming here, we come together. I will sell them on your behalf and you will make £2,400 profit. We're going to go upstairs, sit there, and Mr Mark should be here in the next two minutes. Do you want to come up? The Mark has agreed to let Alex sell on the watches promising her a healthy profit. But she's still suspicious about what's going on. And so she should be, because it's all about to go horribly wrong. Are you okay? We didn't see if she's getting a breath. Sorry.